make a mold for this loose pattern, the molders start with the flask having its drag or bottom side up. He sets the pattern, in this case a candlestick base, on the follow board which is between the two halves of the flask. Then he dusts the pattern with a parting dust so that the sand will not stick to it. This method is for lower volume production as it is not on a higher production match plate. Using a riddle, they put sand next to the pattern without any lumps in it. Then they fill the flask and hand the peen the sand. For tighter compaction, he uses a pneumatic ram. They strike off the surface to make it flat. Then they set on the bottom board and turn the flask over. With a spoon-like founder's tool, he cuts the parting line and lays out the feeding system. After assembling the coat, or top half of the flask, he dusts the drag. Two dowels will form the down sprues for the metal to enter the casting. After hand peening the sand, he further compacts the sand with an air rammer. After striking off the top, they draw the cope straight up using the flask's alignment pins. Holder constantly uses a compressed air nozzle to blow away loose sand. At the bottom of the down screws, he cuts pouring basins. The idea is to always have laminar or smooth flow of the metal so it will not be churned and become drossy. 
With a thin metal cutter, he cuts the runner path for the metal. Once the main runners fill, the side runners feed metal into the casting at the gate where the feeder and the casting join. First he wraps it with a rubber mallet to break the sand's grip. To pull the pattern from the sand, since this pattern is metal and is too heavy for the molder to pull it out with his fingernails, he inserts a machine screw into the threaded hole and lifts out the pattern. With a brush, he brushes off any loose sand. Two strainer screens are to hold back any drossy lumps in the molten metal. They add weight so the liquid metal will not act like a piston and lift and separate the mold. This metal is aluminum and is poured at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. At the top of the closed mold, you can see that they have reamed out the top of the pouring hole to make a bigger pouring target. By pouring two up, two ladles at once, the metal enters everywhere in the casting faster. No cold shuts or metal not joining together before it freezes. They loosen the hinges on the flask and remove it.